Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to navigate between screens. In this video, we will learn how to pass data while navigating. Let's get straight into the code. For our example, let's pass a name parameter from home to about and render that name value in the about screen. The navigation.navigate method, which we have already used to navigate between screens, also accepts a second argument, a route parameters object. This object can contain the data you want to pass to the new screen. Let's specify a key value pair name set to the string Vishwas. We can access this parameter on the about screen using the route prop. This prop is provided to all screen components. Within the component, the structure name from route.params. Update the JSX to about name. If we now save the files, we start our application, head back to the devices and go to about. We see the text about Vishwas. We are able to pass data between screens. It is also possible to set a default parameter value. In app.js, on the about screen, specify initial params, which is an object, and set name to guest. Now, if we remove the data when navigating from home screen, we start the application and head back to the devices. Go to about and we see the text about guest. Guest is the default value for the name parameter. Now it's also possible to update the parameters from the given screen using the navigation prop. So in about screen, the structure navigation and in the JSX, add a new button. Make sure to import the component from React Native Specify title as update the name and on press, we invoke navigation.setParams and we pass in an object with name set to code evolution. If we restart our application and head back to the device, go to about and click on update the name you can see about code evolution. It's also worth knowing you can send data back to the previous screen in the same way. So button, title is go back with data and on press navigation.navigate to the home screen with some result, which is data from about. In the home screen, we can destructure route, add another text component, which renders route.params.result. If we now click on go back with data, we see data from about. As you can see, React Navigation's parameter handling provides a seamless way to pass and retrieve data between screens making your navigation structure more dynamic and responsive to user interaction. In the next video, we will dive deeper into customizing the appearance and behavior of our navigator and screens. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.